with lots of tips and tricks for those of you who have oily skin, especially for the face area. And also for today's video, I'm actually going to give away this new mascara. I can't talk. This new mascara that's from Maybelline, if you're wondering. Also, one more tad bit. I don't know if you guys realize, but usually I put my version of my days down below in the description box. And now I'm actually going to be starting to put them in the video. So, hope you guys are excited. I'm excited. I love you. And let's begin. Alright guys, so first thing is I'm going to start off with moisturizing the skin. I know sometimes it could be easier to think that just because you have oily skin, you shouldn't moisturize to hydrate the skin. But no, no, don't do that. Make sure you take the time to moisturize and hydrate the skin. I also went ahead and did my brows off camera really simply and quickly. Now, if you have oily skin, I do recommend for you to use a primer. The reason why is, again, this is going to help to build a nice barrier between the makeup and the skin. So you kind of give the makeup a nice surface to sit onto. My next trick is a lot of you guys might know this trick and a lot of you guys might not know this trick. But what I like to do is I like to use a powder before I apply foundation. Now this trick is going to help your foundation to stay on longer throughout the day and be much more long lasting. So I'm just applying this powder all over my face just as if I was applying foundation. But first we're just applying powder. This look can honestly just be a really natural everyday look with just applying powder. But we're going to take it another step because I need to get my Ollie girls covered, okay? So then I'm going to go in with a foundation. Now I'm using a stick foundation, a more cream foundation, okay? I wanted to use this rather than a liquid one just to show you guys that you can still conquer oily skin if you use a stick or cream foundation. So this one is from Makeup Forever if you're wondering. And I'm just applying this to the skin and then I'm just blending it out with a brush. Then for my concealer today, I'm using a more cream-based concealer, and I'm just applying this under my eyes with a brush. Now, you can use a cream or a liquid concealer. It's really up to you and which one you like better on your skin type. But I will say, if you do have a friend who has dry skin, I do recommend for them to use a more liquid concealer because a cream concealer might just stick to their dry patches. If you do have oily skin, you can use cream or liquid. It's really up to you. But I think cream looks more matter than liquid half of the time, which is cool. And then I go ahead and blend it out. Out with my beauty blender moving on to setting the skin okay I'm gonna set under my eyes and also just around my cheek area where I really prime that's where I get really oily so I make sure I check set those areas not check those areas check up on it just set those areas definitely make sure you set those pinpoint places that you might get oily throughout the day with powder Moving on to some powder contour, I'm using this contour powder that's about two to three shades darker than my original skin tone. I'm going to use this just to contour the face and chisel it out a little bit. Of course, I'm applying blush. This is a nice rosy, like, burgundy blush. It's actually really stunning. And then for my highlight, I'm just using a nice gold highlight. Now my next step is probably one of the most important steps is to set your makeup. Okay? One of the main reasons why we're setting our makeup is just to help that it doesn't move all over the place as you go out through the day. Alright guys, so make sure you try out this face routine for those of you who have oily skin. Pass it on to a friend. Help a friend out. <laughs> Thanks again for watching guys. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoy it. And I'll see you guys in my next video, which is this week again. I'll see you soon. Bye.